Hey guys, welcome to the Excel Mac Bootcamp. In this series, I'll walk through the basics of Excel, covering everything from the interface to the basic functions like sorting and filtering data, creating charts, and even some advanced features like conditional formatting and working with tables. I'll roll this out step by step so that you can follow along and master Excel at your own pace. In this video, we'll cover off the basics of Excel. So just looking through the interface, where to find various things in the menu, uh, we'll also touch on Excel workbook and worksheets and how to enter some data into Excel. Let's get started. So let's jump into Excel. On the screen here is Microsoft Excel for Mac. It's part of the Microsoft 365 subscription. In the last few years, Excel Mac has really caught up with the Windows version in terms of functionality, but I wouldn't put it as a one-to-one -one replacement just yet. That being said, you can still do quite a lot with Excel Mac. If you're a Windows based user, you can still follow along with this tutorial as a lot of the basics are quite similar. I'll call out the differences as and when they pop up. All right, let's get into it. First, let's start with the Excel option in the far left. In the Excel drop down menu, you'll find the typical uh, Mac app preferences, services, hide Excel, and quit Excel. Next to that, we have the file option. So things like create new workbook open new workbook so we'll touch on those in a bit more in the details in a bit uh, close the current workbook and you save and print and access any other kind of related options and next to that we have the edit so typical things like undoing redoing cut copy finding content so we'll dig into those in a bit more detail in the following tutorials where i'll walk through some of the shortcuts next to that we have the view menu this allows you to control the visibility of certain elements in Excel. So uh, I'll, I'll explain the ribbon, the formula toolbar, and you can just change the zoom in and out. So we'll go through those. Following that, we have insert. You can add a variety of elements into your worksheets like charts, tables, pictures, shapes, and more. So we'll go through those. Next to that, we have the format menu. This is where you can adjust the appearance of your workbook's content. So you can kind of apply different colors, borders, styles, and, and conditional formatting. Next to that, we have the tools. This includes features like spelling, grammar checks, protection, and other useful tools like solver and data analysis. Next is the data menu. Data helps you to manage and analyze your data with options like sorting, filtering, validation, and connecting to external data sources. Next, we have the window menu. So this lets you manage your open Excel windows, arranging them as and when you need and switching between them. Lastly, we have the help menu. The help menu offers access to Excel's built-in help system, which provides answers to any of your questions. And also you can update Excel via this menu as well. Next up, we'll go through the ribbon. I won't go through each of these in detail as quite a few of these have the similar functions as the menu toolbar we went above. I'll, I'll go through the home one, which is where you have most of your commonly used commands. It's divided into groups like clipboard for copy pasting, so this area, font for formatting your text, cells for inserting and deleting and formatting kind of style uh, we'll also go through formulas so this is where you can find anything related to formulas and functions you can insert functions manage name ranges and audit your formulas here and in the data tab this provides tools for importing external data sorting sorting and filtering data and tools like removing duplicates validating data and more so one tip I'd like to call out now is if you go into the view menu, you can also see a ribbon where you can actually switch on and off. And if you were to click on the actual ribbon tab name, so for example, home, you can do the same function. So if you click on draw, you can also hide it. Next up, I'd like to call out the quick access toolbar here. So here you'll be able to find commonly used commands and you're actually able to edit this particular menu by clicking on the three dots going more commands and here you can add additional shortcuts or commands that you will use on a consistent basis so for example if you wanted to add copy you click on copy on the left 
click on this arrow here and then click save so what it will do is now bring up that copy command into this particular toolbar next is the formula toolbar so this area here here you'll be able to type in if you click on a cell and then click on the formula toolbar you can type in your data or type in a formula so for example if you type in 100 you can see that there now if you type in another number just come, come up with something if you type in equals sum you can see that the formula here is in the formula toolbar next we'll go into the go to box so if you come over here click on go to here if you were to type in any particular cell reference so for example cell a1 your highlighted cell will now jump to that particular cell the shortcut key to bring that up is f5 so if you wanted to jump to say over here so d6 all you need to do is type in d6 and your cell will jump over there so that's quite a handy tool to help you navigate around excel Right now let's move on to Excel workbook and worksheets. So with a workbook you can think of it as a binder for all your related worksheets. So your file itself will be the workbook. So right now our book, our file is called book one. So our workbook is all enclosed in this particular book one file. A worksheet is you can think of it as individual pages that hold your data. So right now we're in sheet one and it will contain this data that's sitting in cells A1, 2 and 3. So if I were to add a new worksheet, now sheet 2, and let's click on the zoom down here. If this is now data in sheet 2 that is enclosed within the workbook, book 1. So the last thing I'd like to cover off in this particular tutorial is just the basic concept of data entry and cells so you can see here that excel is made up of a bunch of columns and a bunch of rows so cell references so for example a1 means this particular cell and then if you were to call out say e5 you say e and then five so each of these will store a set of numbers or text or various data types and that is how you enter data within Excel. So if we were to come back to A1 and you type in say number 50, that particular cell now stores the number 50. Okay, I think that's it for today's interface tutorial. I hope you found that valuable. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to Excel Me to keep up to date with the latest tips and tricks and di deep dives into Excel. In the next video of this series, we'll cover the fundamentals of Excel, so a bit more detail about the cells, rows, columns and worksheets. And we'll, we'll go into working with the cells, so inputting and editing data, copying, moving and deleting things, understanding rows, columns and their operations, multiple sheets and how to add, remove and delete them.